Oh, I look bad. Good morning, guys. It is December 1st, which means it's the second day of Vlogmas. Um, and the reason I'm starting this right now is because Sarah has an advent calendar that she really wants to open, um, but I wanted to record it. So, are we ready? It's an espresso. Find day one. Yeah, it's right here. Advent calendar. Calendar. So that means I get to try whatever coffee is in here. Oh. Which one is it? Have you had it? Yeah, yeah. we have these. Okay, and then you get to, you can open your present under the tree. That's for today. Okay. So now she's opening her other gift that she's allowed. Right? Yep, for today. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the official advent calendar, the one with the surprises. So I get to open day one? Yeah, that's how they work. Shut up. Countdown to Christmas with over 25 surprises. What can they be? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, these are so cool. Where's one? I don't know. Don't tell me. I saw it. They it what? Like a book. The I fuck? love the smell of books. Welcome to our tropical Christmas party. Oh my god, I remember this because the heat, uh, the air broke. Or no, the heat is, oh, the heat wouldn't turn off. It was too high. <laughs> hey, it's an ornament. For what? That's why I got you the tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of Sarah's surprises before Christmas started was this mini tree because I don't let any random ornaments on my tree. I'm not even sorry about it. I just like a very cohesive tree, so I don't like random ornaments. Anyway, so I got Sarah this. Anyway, yeah, so the thing comes with like multiple ornaments, so I wanted to get her a little something that she could have one and still make it fun because she wants like a fun tree. So this is her nightstand and that is what she got. Okay, so I just showered. Um, Sarah and I are gonna run to the CVS down the street from us because I need new nails. Um, I, I use the, uh, I don't know why it's not focusing. I use the Kiss uh, Impress nails. Um, and I am out and I need some and they had some cute holiday-ish colors when I was there last week So I'm gonna grab those. Okay, so we just got home. I hit myself in the head with a door How cute is this? And of course Right now it's gonna be boring because Sarah's already retreated to Paisley just got so excited to go see Sarah Come on. She's in here. In there. She's in here. Hello? She's in here. Come on. She's right here. She's right there. She's looking Hi. for you. She's right there. Hi, Mommy. Hi. She's right. like, what do I do? What do I do? Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, so, this lighting is super weird. I just got a big PR package um, that I'm about to open from, um, I can't really show you that my address written all over it, but, whoo, a lot of breath, from um, Drek Elephant, so I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so this is what it is. I haven't opened it yet. It kind of feels like a little suitcase, so we will see. Okay, Drunk Elephant always sends the best, but this is definitely the best one I've gotten yet. It's literally like a mini carry-on, um, and it's so cute. This is so cool. Okay, I haven't even opened it yet, but. Okay, so this is everything that came inside. Um, I love Drunk Elephant. I use them all the time. Um, a lot of their products are vegan, which is the ones that I use. Uh, they are my favorite. This stuff is like one of my favorite moisturizers to use on my face all the time, but thanks Drunk Elephant. Okay, so I just shot an ad and now um, Sarah's in the bedroom working, so I'm gonna take this moment to wrap one of her gifts that I got her. Um, I can't say much about what they are because I'm not sure if she'll watch this, but I'm gonna let you guys watch while I wrap. I look crazy. Um, I just record, or I just, oh my God. I just wrapped Sarah's present and didn't record a single second of it. That's fully my bad. Um, I take accountability. I also just wanna say that I am 27. Some would consider that their late 30s, I mean 20s. Um, I'm 27 and I still can't do a messy bun. So, um, that sucks for me. Okay, I got my, ooh, this is kind of dark though. I got my camera settings back to normal, so I'm feeling much better about that. I just recorded, or edited and uploaded. Sorry. I just edited and uploaded Vlogmas day one. So now Sarah and I are gonna have a date night. And we're gonna order food and we're gonna drink wine, not on the couch, but over it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna drink wine and we're gonna watch Uncle Frank. 
and we'll give our review after. And then if we are still feeling up to it, I also want to watch a New York Christmas wedding. I'm gonna need a happy anyway after it's sad. Is it sad? Yeah, it's supposed to be so sad. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yeah, bitch. I'm you, you Becky Hater literally snapped us crying. Said a picture. Well, cause she cries over everything. No, it's supposed to be sad. I heard it on the radio today too. Oh, all right. Well, prepping myself for that, we're gonna order some some Asian food, our favorite, the most predictable people in the entire world. <sighs> I know. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Okay, so date night. Sarah and I are Asian obsessed. We love Asian food, any type. Um, but we just ate this literally two days ago and already we're craving it again. Um, so this is what our date night food is. Sarah got two rolls. I got a sweet potato roll. Um, and then I got a side of fried rice for us, some vegetable fried rice. And then I got vegetable gyoza, which is a must every time we order. Crazy, you want a bite? <gasps> okay, we finished. Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank. What are your thoughts? It was fantastic, but it's like heavy duty. It's sad. Yeah. It's very sad. Um, and it's based on a true story, which is crazy. Yeah. I thought it was really good. I think it's definitely triggering. Yes. If you have unaccepting parents or no relationship. But. Or no family. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's a very beautiful movie. Regardless. Mm-hmm. And, like, the cast was great. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, but. Yeah. I highly recommend it. We did not like Happiest Season at all. Like, at all. This was like more. But this, I think, I think the way the that the harsh reality of this person's situation right. is very realistic for what he faced in the movie versus what people face I in think, real life. Also, I do think that the acceptance part of it was like maybe Me too. not as realistic as Me too. it would have been in the time frame. It was, but also, in the 70s. well, I don't want to say too much again. Yeah, I don't want to say too much, but it's very, very beautiful. I think the way that they represented the queer relationship that's shown in it was absolutely beautiful, and the way that they lived their life regardless of unacceptance yeah. um, in family and in life. Um, I thought that was absolutely beautiful and the fact that it was so focused on their relationship made me really, Which really happy. Which was extremely healthy. Yeah, very, very healthy, um, very good, um, yeah. And it is, it was based in the 30s to the... It was based in the 70s, but there were... But the 30s to the 70s, that's yeah. what it was. Um, and it's like, like a, what were they, Christian, Catholic? I mean, it's in the South, in the yeah, in the yeah, 70s, yeah, yeah. So it's like religion, like religious yeah. and shit, like God, this, hell, that. But I don't know. It was cool. It was good. I liked it. It was, it was really, sad. really good. I, I mean, yeah, you definitely need some tissues if you're gonna watch it. But have a backup. We're watching the Grinch. Yeah. So, we're, lift so our now, <laughs> yeah. So now we're watching the Grinch. We were gonna watch another gay movie, but I think I'm gayed out. I think movies. I'm. I think I'm gayed out for the night because this is what they do to me. Because we can't just have one that's happy. So we're gonna just do this for now. I mean, I know that I'm biased, but look at this face. Hey. <laughs> I did this for you. Why are you hitting it? I'm not. <laughs> Oh, did you take the picture? Uh, I had sushi and it fucked up my stomach again. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She's playing with her other ball now, of course. Hold on, hold right on. here. We're trying to get Paisley to do what she was just doing when Sarah was fake petting her. She's gonna jump off. Hold on, wait. The fake pet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, she was going ape shit during that movie. I can't. Do it one more time. <laughs> what was that? Does it sound familiar? Do it one more time. No! Does it sound familiar? No! Because it's fake. What are you going to get? Go on, let's go. Let's go. Kisses. Good girl. Sorry guys, it's it's a lot of Paisley content today, but like her and this teddy bear. Hi, come here, come here, let me see. Um, good night guys, it is the end of Vlogmas day two. Oh. Day two? Oh. This December is day two. Oh, because you started on the... 30th of November. I'm so tired. <laughs> We're going to bed. Um, we had to wine and watch the movie, so. 
two movies. Yep. Going to bed. All right. We'll see you guys. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.